Pierce's store in Shrewsbury. Let's go have a look inside. When I was here before, I wasn't sure what view, but now that I'm looking at it, I kind of like this view uh -huh. because it, it gets a little piece of the whole store, yeah. the, uh, the stove, of course. Yeah. This is not the original stove. Oh, it's not? No. Oh. This one's only, what, 200 years old? <laughs> I'm not even sure it is. That photo of Marjorie up there, that's the old stove. Oh, wow. Um, there was a store here right around Civil War time, um, and it's, it's in this building. When we reopened it, people were, oh, Pierce's, I love Pierce's. I remember going there as a child. The bakery case used to be used to hold candies. People come in who knew the store as a child and say, wow, that used to be all the candies in there and Margie would stand behind and, and she would say, no, how many do you want? And you want those and those and those and she'd count them out and she'd play games with the kids and everything. I've got to have something here. Don't show my wife this video. They used to have um, feed and grain and the back door is a wide door, and that's where they brought in all the, you know, the farm supplies back in the old days. And mm -hmm. so I think it was Gordon. He built clocks and things, and he, that was his workshop. It wasn't always the Pierces, but the Pierces ran it for quite a long time. This was actually the first business establishment I ever set foot in in Vermont. I was staying with the guy who lives across the road and came over here to get some instant coffee in the morning and Marjorie and Glendon were here. They were kind of formidable looking pairs, so I got the coffee and went back over across the street. She was very disappointed that I didn't stay and visit. And this is what I'll take back to, in this case, my studio, and uh, uh, try to uh, uh, distill all this good stuff down into a 11 by 14 painting. That's what I consider my job. So it's a, it's a challenge, but when it when it works, it's it's wonderful. And hopefully, at the end of the day, uh, anybody that looks at this can feel that uh, that good vibe that uh, that Pierce's has. One of the components that I want in every one of my paintings is energy. You could call it passion, you could call it uh, excitement, you could call it enthusiasm perhaps. But the time to do it, at least the way I do it, is in the beginning. To give it all you've got, to dive in head first. When I'm gonna paint yellow, I don't want some little drop of blue in my brush to get in the way. You know, it looks like I'm, I'm pretty loose and just throwing whatever at it, but I'm really very controlled. And we'll get more so as, as time goes on.
Hey, buddy. What do you think so far? Okay? Mm -hmm.